Hello, hello, my beloved waking gods and goddesses. Welcome to Love, Truth, and Beauty. Do it yourself, spiritual awakening for divine in the flesh. Now with replays on IGTV at Dakini.kiss, or together we learn how to surf and navigate the ups and downs of the totality of human experience, composing a new earth beyond the limitations of this perception managed reality matrix of five senses, having discovered our true divine creative natures in our true central sensorial universe universe of seven senses, creating formless into form outside of the matrix in the true quantum field creation field universe. Before we get started, please do give this video a thumbs up. Please also hit the subscribe button and the notification bell selecting the all setting so that when I upload videos, the YouTube will let you know. I generally upload Tuesdays and Fridays, 2 p.m. Eastern. My name is Mario West and I am your hostess of the highest here to download, upload, inspire, and usher you into your bestest and brightest selves, your bestest and brightest light, and inviting you all to open your hearts wider and wider and wider still. Hello, my lovey doves, my darlings, my sweeties. Mwah. Welcome to episode 194, the third order of business in this continuation of our conversation and series regarding the true energetics of trauma-based mind control and how the matrix and its gatekeepers of victim producing, inducing, yeah, yeah, ga, ga, za, za, keep most humans enslaved and hypnotized and incapable of owning their attention. Our first order of business in good housekeeping and safety protocols for facilitating a trauma-based mind control deactivation session is to wake up and own your attention. Now, in our last video, I taught all of you willing to wake up, see yourselves, see your reality, exit the matrix, compose and intend your reality, how to find and activate your power cord, power plug into and uh, plug into your creation field in order to intend and compose the reality of trauma deactivation. Yay, hoorah, well done on that second order of business. Now, I know I threw a whole lot of stuff at you guys last time, all right? Uh, I'm not sorry, because you can handle it. So let's review, shall we? Albeit, it's a bit repetitive, and I know for some of you who think you're so advanced, it's so boring. But let me tell you that this is the nature of waking up, because waking up is not a one-off event as promulgated by New Age bullshit, okay? Now, like martial arts, you will be repeating and practicing waking yourself up catching yourselves about to sleep or catching yourself snoozing, sleeping and waking yourself up and exiting the matrix after you wake yourself up. Okay. You have to know the difference because if you don't know the difference, okay, between sleeping and waking, you're just another tool for the matrix and it's satanic agendas. Okay. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like dial it down. I'm not, okay? And if you are offended by that, you really ought to not be watching my videos, for real. I'm not here to be your best friend, nor am I here to bullshit you and be a tool for the matrix to satiate your egos by taking advantage of your naivete and keep you infantilized. No, my loves, it is time to grow the F up and take responsibility for your energy and for your lives, or stay a slave, stay sound asleep, okay? There is a war for our consciousness, individually and collectively within the matrix. I'm not playing around, okay? I'm endeavoring to teach you all how to hack into the technogenic system of the matrix without irritating it, and without irritating the powers that wanna be and getting in their crosshairs. Okay, where we can hop onto its various pendulums and change out the film reels at at will and utilize them to our advantage. Mm -hmm. You get it? The only thing you have to do is wake up consistently and own your attention consistently, exit the matrix consistently, be in center screen consistently more and more and more so that you can compose your reality. There you go. 
And those of you who want to send me video links to New Age bullshit shills and New Age bullshit celebrity morons, browbeating Satanists and archons, a la naughty, naughty Satanists, bad archons, bad archons, um, you know what? Don't bother, okay? Because those fools, they can stay in the matrix and you can stay there with them and carry on with those scripts and mesmerize the masses, keep getting mesmerized by them and you're not going to get it. But you have a choice, or perhaps I make too many assumptions about the high quality epicness of who all is watching my videos. Okay, so, okay, so let me first say that unless we were born to fully awakened parents who have exited the matrix and are masters at composing their own reality, your conception, our conception, I mean, no disrespect is within the matrix and right off the get-go, right when the sperm and egg join, okay? Your existence is subject to all the scripts within the matrix, plus the ones relative to your lineage, yes, with Mumsy and Pupsy. And for most of us, this is the case. It was for me, okay? I personally had to dig my way out of the cesspool of my tribal limitations and programs that had me preconditioned into slavery, sex slavery, to be precise. Now, the enormity of the limitation within the matrix should make your head explode right about now. And in my opinion, motivate your booties to get on with it, okay? To wake up, see yourself, see reality, exit the matrix, enter into your awakened center screens, your attention center, activate your power cords, magic wands, wizard stars, your plates, braids, assemblage points, your fairy gossamer wings, or whatever your creation shtick is called, all of this out of the matrix, okay? Now, the third order of business, my loves, in setting up the healing space for trauma deactivation outside of the matrix in the true quantum field creation field universe is to intend and seal the space for healing. Okay, so let me introduce to you all Absolute Balance Mastery, the Sacred Body Dialogue Terms of Engagement, uh, Divine Inquiry for short. Now, this is a general overview, maintaining order, clarity, and being in charge of a healing session at all times, regardless of the chaos that ensues with your client, all right? And please, do not deviate from the order that is presented, okay? This will help keep you grounded and present. You have to be able to catch yourself. The moment you start feeling triggered by things happening, either by the story that is being, uh, being disseminated and shared by your client or your own shit, you need to wake yourself up. And you need to give yourself permission that if you lose control, that you stop the session immediately. Okay, so I'm just going to give a brief rundown. And uh, those of you who want to know more, you can DM me, private message me, email me for more details about how to train with me to do this. Okay, because I am no longer offering this in group programs. It's just way too dangerous. All right. So number one, after a brief discussion with your client about their intention for the session. You need to open up the session after you wake yourself up, own your intention, okay? Uh, intend, activate your plate, plot, braid, your power cord, plug in to the creation field to intend the outcome of the session, okay? You need to open up the session through a prayer and invocation. And you can ring bells. You can call in your, your healing guides, healing assistants, and seal the space. All right? The second thing that you will need to do is you need to do a calibration. All right? Now, this is tricky. This is where a lot of healer types, they don't understand. Okay? That is, you need to tune into the divine. You need to tune into your body's consciousness. You also need to tune into the consciousness of your clients. And you're going to be testing through a precise measure of uh, kinesiology, 
you need to test for yeses or nos. In other words, who is answering? Who is answering the question? Is it you? Is it your client? Or are there demons and entities in your client's auric field that is answering for them? That will need to be ascertained. It will also need to be clear. All right. And so you need to ask the divine and body consciousness for permission to engage. That is the answer. Yes or no. And you need to find out, okay, what consciousness is in the auric field or in the room with you. Okay. Because if you got a whole bunch of other people, other beings, other things in there, you don't have control of the space. Okay. So that is the order of business that needs to happen. And I am going to stop right there, my loves, because, um, we don't want to get too ahead of ourselves. So we're going to continue this conversation and, uh, we're going to do it piece by piece by piece. And, uh, next time, um, there have been some requests, requests to, uh, have more reviews on the power cord, power plug activation, uh, and the plugging in into the true quantum field creation field universe. So I am going to re-upload a series of videos from uh, last season, from our first season, to really uh, expedite that. I don't want to reinvent the wheel. I want to be consistent. All right? Okay, darlings. All right, loves. That is my speech for now. Okay? So please help me grow this channel by giving this video a thumbs up and leaving a comment in the comments box below or in private. Please be kind. Like I said, I'm really uh, thinking about turning off the comment section altogether because I'm having to spend a lot of time, uh, you know, just kind of like woo, scrolling through and just seeing seeing the shit that people write down. I mean, it's like, why bother? Do you really have that kind of time to waste craziness? Anyways, please share this video with your communities, friends, family members, and on social media platforms you feel would benefit from this content. Please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, selecting the all settings so that when I upload videos, the YouTube will let you know. And if you find value, enjoy, or benefit from my content and videos, or are at least entertained by them, won't you please consider supporting my work through a donation? My PayPal link is below, as is my link tree that hooks you up with all the many different ways that you can connect with me, uh, reach out to me, work with me, learn from me, etc. I thank you all so much for your participation and your focus attention. I really do appreciate it. I cannot do this work without you. So until next time, my dear hearts, always act from love outside of the matrix, from your center screen, composing your reality, quantum jumping all your lifelines. That's right. Let's all do it so that we can be the love that we are. We can share our love. We can create, make art, make music, make love. And you can all help me repopulate the true quantum field creation field universe so until next time here's to your love truth and beauty my divine ones Mwah!